The U.S. issuing a health alert in China after an abnormal sound left a consulate worker with a mild brain injury. And there are similarities between this and suspected sonic attacks on diplomatic staff in Cuba. That's according to U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who says medical teams are moving to be on the ground in China. We had an incident in Guangzhou that the uh, medical indications are very similar and entirely consistent with the medical indications that have taken place to Americans working in Cuba. The U.S. health alert posted today says a U.S. government employee in China recently reported subtle and vague but abnormal sensations of sound and pressure. The cause of the reported symptoms isn't known. The worker was sent to the U.S. for further tests. We are working to figure out what took place both in Havana and in now in China as well. U.S. diplomats based in Cuba reported issues like dizziness and hearing problems starting in 2016, possibly stemming from suspected sonic attacks. Canadian personnel there also reported similar symptoms. And just last month, the Canadian government said it would remove families of diplomats posted to Cuba. Cuba has denied any involvement, calling the allegations science fiction. A warning from some of the world's biggest cybersecurity firms today that hackers have infected at least half a million routers and storage devices in dozens of countries, possibly in preparation for a cyber attack on Ukraine following a surge of infections there. Cisco's cyber intelligence unit says it has high confidence the Russian government is behind the malicious software because it shares code with malware the U.S. has linked to Moscow. For the average person on the street, what this means is an attacker could carry out denial of service attacks, it could distribute wiper malware, it could distribute key loggers, and it could do all this in a way that they couldn't be caught, in a way that they couldn't be blamed. The malware could be used for espionage, to interfere with internet communications, or to launch attacks on Ukraine. Cisco says it doesn't know what the hackers have planned.